Everyone's talking about Slade Auto, the new EV truck with a modular design made right here in the US. It's simple, it's tough, and different from anything else on the market. But here's the twist people don't know. The person who actually started Slate isn't even on the website. There's no big interviews, no launch events, no flashy marketing, just quiet execution. So who is this hidden founder, and how did his philosophy shape Slate into what it is today? Hi, I'm Dale, and this is Everything Slate, where power meets purpose. Today, we're digging into the real origin of Slate Auto, and it all starts with a man named Miles Arnone. His company, Rebuild Manufacturing, and a way of thinking that changed the direction of a brand new car company. Miles Arnone isn't a flashy CEO. He's an MIT-trained engineer, and he spent decades in manufacturing, taking struggling factories and making them work again. In his belief, if you can build smarter, closer to home with simpler parts, you can bring manufacturing back and you can build things that people actually want to repair instead of replace. So thinking became the core of Rebuild Manufacturing. The company he co-founded with someone you may have heard of, Jeff Wilk, Amazon's former head of worldwide operations. These two came from two very different worlds. One lived on the factory floor and the other built one of the largest logistics networks in the world. And their goal wasn't just to make products, it was to fix how products get made. Inside Rebuild, they wrote out 16 principles, rules that guide every decision. This is the blueprint for long-term thinking. And if you look closely at Slate, you can see those principles everywhere. With Arnone bringing manufacturing know-how and Jeff Wilk was bringing the Amazon mindset, his entire career was built around one obsession. Make things easy for the customer that mix manufacturing discipline from Miles and logistics simplicity from Jeff. And that's exactly where Slate's culture was born. In fact, before there was a Slate Auto, there was a secret project called Recar. Recar was a test. Could they design and manufacture a simple, modular EV truck without the layers of complexity, the software bloat, and the marketing noise that we see everywhere else? The project proved it could be done, and eventually it became Slate Auto. Same DNA, new company. Built from the ground up with the values of rebuild. If you look at a Slate truck, you can literally see this philosophy in the design. User replaceable exterior panels? That's a rebuild principle, designed for repair. Crank windows and exposed fasteners? That's manufacturing transparency. Not everything has to be a sealed computer. Direct sales? That's Wilkes Amazon Roots. Cut out the gatekeepers. Let the product speak for itself. And when you combine these two ways of thinking, Miles are known with factory floor experience and Jelf Wilk with customer first fulfillment, you get something brand new. One man focuses on how to build it better and the other on how to deliver it simpler. Put those two together and you end up with a vehicle designed to be upgraded in your driveway. Less strain on the factory, fewer complicated assemblies, and a truck that the customer, you, can customize and repair yourself. Most EV startups promise the future. Slate is quietly building something for right now. Instead of hiring influencers, they're hiring engineers. And instead of over-promising features, they're under-engineering complexity. And instead of chasing flashy valuations, they're chasing durability. So now that you know who really started Slate, how do you design a truck with those values in mind? Thanks for watching this episode, guys. I'm Dale, and this is Everything Slate, where power meets purpose. Catch you on the next one.